San Diegans dealing with the aftermath of flooding, getting some help today by local organizations as well as a law firm. Flood victims are finding out what legal options they have. Our Alani Latang was there and gives us this story. I see neighbors' faces here, and it's it's just sad that we're seeing each other in this kind of situation. A room packed with flood survivors, shoulder to shoulder of shared devastation. Lorena Gorelli Montez lives in Shelltown off South 42nd Street. She says the January 22nd flood ruined the family's two cars, her husband's extensive records collection, and Pee Wee soccer equipment from her daughter's school, Our Lady of Guadalupe. We just make do. We just made do. And, our, you know, our school was able to help us, you know, get some of that back. But, you know, it's a good $200 worth of equipment that we have to, you know, come up with again. Plus, more loss inside her daughter's room, Lucia. My keyboard, because that was my favorite toy that I played in. Now, Lorena says she is seeking to file a claim with the city over improper drain cleaning. It, it's not just a loss of things, it's the, you know, the community and the connection that we lost. They need the assistance of attorneys and advocates in order to get that help. Alliance San Diego has teamed with law firm Singleton and Schreiber for their own flood damage claim. Now both are looking to help flood survivors with compensation and policy change. We want to see a substantial investment into the channels, a commitment to regular maintenance, fixing of the storm canals that were not functioning the day of the flood. The reality is this was not the natural disaster the city has claimed it was. This was a planning disaster. Founding partner Brett Schreiber says each case is individual. First, they need to gather the evidence, photos, and videos before filing a claim with the city and each person's insurance. Schreiber says they don't take any money from their clients' insurance claims. Their fee is 25% of what government entities would be entitled to pay their clients. This is about creating litigation, legal, political strategies that will compensate people fully and then even more importantly, ensure that we're not doing this again. I think that their approach to um, being individualized with each of us and helping us to reclaim what we're owed as individuals is important, but with the community in mind, I think is what's most valuable to my family. For Fox 5 News, I'm Alani Latang in Barrio Logan.